Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hope you all are doing great. In this video, we are going to discuss a new grammatical topic which is simple future tense. Okay, the question is what is future? How can we determine that the particular task will be done in future? Well everybody, future is actually a time which is yet to come, which we have not seen yet. A work which will be performed after now, after this moment. Whatever we are going to do, that will be considered a part of future. Alright? Now, whenever we are discussing tenses, we always feel like it's very complicated. You know why? Because while doing tenses, while understanding them, you have to keep a lot of things in mind. For example, which helping verb will be used? If there are many subjects in a particular sentence, which auxiliary verb are we going to use? If there is single subject, how can we use a helping verb with that? Because in different tenses, Helping verb for single subject is different and helping verb for many subjects in a sentence will be different and many other exceptions in English and most of all form of verb. Alright, which form of verb are you going to use to determine whether it's past, it's present, it's perfect, it's continuous, right? But when it comes to future tense, it's quite simple and easy. That is why I keep on saying that simple future tense is the easiest tense of all because there is only one helping verb that will make your whole tense future and that is will w i l l will you, you are going to use will with he she it you i we they which means no matter you are discussing single subject in a sentence or there are many subjects in a particular sentence the helping verb which we are going to use is will and not only will even the form of verb will be the first one the positive one all right so to make any tense future what you have to do is just use will and first form of verb all right now one more thing i want to mention here see everyone uh, when i was younger and not i was younger even still there are some schools i i have seen few students using shell in their sentences when they discuss about future i am not saying it's wrong i am saying it's the old school okay we do not use shell in future tense with I or we. We do not use shell at all. Even uh, the Brit British, they don't use shell. Very rare. It's rare that they use a shell in uh, question sentences, right? In interrogative sentences to make them polite. That's it. So the question is, are we going to use shell? No, you are not going to use shell with I, we, any subject. Only thing which we are going to use is yes will with first form of verb to make your make your tense future that's it no shell no need to use any other helping verb all right now let's move on to examples we are going to discuss first positive examples all right I will go to my friend's place next week. Abia will meet her boss tomorrow. The magicians will show their new trick in an hour. You will prepare dinner tonight. Here, what have I used? Yes, I just have used will with first form of verb. Go, meet, show, prepare. See everyone, in all these examples, all these sentences, 
देर आर सर्टन लाइक वेन वी वर डिस्कसिंग अर्लियर वी वर डिस्कसिंग प्रेजेंट टेंस और फास्ट टेंस वी वर very clear about one thing that with i and you we use certain helping verb single subject will have certain helping verb plural subjects many subjects will have certain um, helping verb but in this case with i with single subject which is abiha with many subjects which are magicians and again you which is exception no matter what is the subject we are using will all right Moving on to more examples. We will arrive at the station at 6 p.m. She will win this race in no time. They will throw a huge birthday party. This present will bring happiness in his morning life. Okay, again V representing many subjects, right? She representing single subject pronoun. They, many. This present single, right? But still, what are we using? Yes, we are just using will with first form of verb. All right. So simple future tense is the easiest one. How come? Yes, you just need to add will with first form of verb to make your tense future. That's it. Let's discuss negative sentences now. I will not go out with my friends tonight. All the kids will not enjoy the pool party. The doctors will not lie to the patients and the last example is The CEO will not fire the permanent staff members. So what have we done? We just have added not to make the tense negative. All right? That's all for today's video. Take a good care of yourself. Take care. Bye-bye.